Hey everyone, what's up? I hope you're all doing super well. For today's video, I got inspired by The Batman because I saw the movie and I was a really big fan of it and the makeup that was done on Zoe Kravitz just looked so, so cool and I was like, oh my god, I want to try this out. So I'm here today to try and do that, but yeah, I don't know. Just the way the lighting hit the makeup, like it just, oh my god, I'm such a big fan of it. But um, yeah, we're going to try to achieve that today. I kind of sort of tried to do the hair. Yeah, so let's go. I'll zoom you guys in and we can get started on the eyes. So I feel like the whole overall makeup felt very lived in. Like it was undone, but also intentional. <laughs> Literally don't know what I'm saying, but let's start on these eyes. I'm probably going to be dipping into a few palettes because that little shimmer, like it looks glossy, but it also looks like a foil. It leans a little silver. I don't really think I have something exactly like that so I'm gonna kind of like do a little mix of some shadows so I apologize for that but you got to work with what you got I do have a little bit of primer on the base of my lid and I'm gonna take a black shadow and begin to form a wing and I'm gonna make sure to pull this shadow all up into that inner corner because I want to make sure I have a dark base. So we got the general shape of the wings down. So I think I'm gonna dip into a bit of like a cooler brown and begin to buff out those edges. I think I'm gonna pull a little bit of the same brown that I just used into this outer crease just to see how that looks can't hurt so i'm softly just feathering that in i'm just going to take a fluffy brush and begin to buff out the crease because i want to make sure that it's not harsh just to make sure like that black is as deep as it can be i'm gonna run a liquid liner just along that base and then go over it with some black shadow once again, just to make sure it's still giving that smoky effect. Usually I wouldn't do my lower lash line prior to my base just because like, I'm not really good at that, but I kind of want to right now <laughs> just because I feel like it's going to give me a better idea of where I actually feel that I need concealer and just any actual like base products that I'll be putting down. I'm going to go ahead and add that black shadow onto the lower lash line, but I'm going to work in just smaller bits because I want to make sure that I don't overdo it because with black, you know, it's very quick to just go and it gets all over the place. I'm going to add... Um, a black liner just into the waterline and to tight line because I feel like that's going to give me a better idea of what I'm working with because this whole like negative space right there like no it just like throws me off so let me go ahead and add this I feel like this is at a good place right now I might go back in with a little more brown but I don't want to do it just yet because I'm going to add that shimmer or whatever it is that's on the lid um and see what that's gonna do and then kind of go from there i actually thought that that shimmer was only like down the center but then i saw another clip and i was like ah this looks like it's all over the lid so i think i'm just gonna do that <laughs> just call it a day i feel like it pulls a little more silver but i don't have like a foiled silver so huh i don't know okay let's see so i i'm gonna use like this shade Ray from the Wilderness palette from Beauty Bay, which is an odd pick because it has some green in there, but like, whatever. <laughs> and I'm just going to take a little bit of the shade Fossil, which is definitely a lot more gold, but I feel like if I mix those two together, it should be somewhat decent. This on with my finger. Oh shit, that actually looks... Hold on, <laughs> that actually is kind of looking good. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the skin because I wanna finish the eyes off later. So, oh, this is gonna be hard for me because I really, I don't know how to like get that effect on her skin. <laughs> so I'm going to mix a foundation with an oil to get this just as sheer as I possibly can. I don't want 
coverage that's not what i'm going for i just want to even out my skin tone because as you can tell i kind of have a bit of redness right now so let's hope that i don't go overboard with this because that tends to happen let's move on to concealer so again i don't want a lot of product i just want to add this in areas that like i genuinely feel need to get touched up and i'm just being very gentle when blending this out because i don't want to like remove any product actually i am going to use my finger to blend the rest of the concealer out so I really want to warm up that product and just have it melt right into the skin. So far, skin's kind of doing what I want it to. I feel like my nose is just really red right now. So <laughs> let me add a little more product on. Just like buff that out. All right, let's go in with cream contour. So this is the e.l.f. Bronzed Bell. I realized I haven't really been seeing the products, but I'll have everything listed down below. I'm just going in with a light layer of the NYX pressed powder just all over my face to help mattify these areas. I wasn't going to go in with a powder bronzer, but I kind of feel like my face needs it. So this is the one from Alamar Cosmetics. Bruh, this is like still a fave. Like, I love this palette so much. I just want a natural bronze all around the perimeter. To achieve that like overall very natural glow, I'm gonna take the Auric Glow Lust, which is gonna give me exactly that. Go ahead and add that. Yes, oh my God, that's exact. <gasps> Back onto the eyes so again just taking that same little concoction i did of those two shimmers and i'm just gonna have that right in the center kind of fade down and then for that inner corner i am gonna use a brush because we all know i would literally get that all over the place Wow, I'm like really enjoying how this is coming out. <laughs> like this is so much better than what I expected. For lips, bro, honestly, it could just be chapstick. I pff, couldn't tell you. I don't want these lips to look super harsh. So I'm going to take the Cafe Lip Liner from LA Girl and go right on top. Like I'm going to do my normal lip shape, but I'm just not going to like go in and contour it and do all of that. Let's see how my lashes are doing today. <laughs> and if they're just not cooperating, I'll probably put falsies on. I, look, I'm just gonna add my little corner lashes because I just, ugh, I can't help myself. And I feel like it's gonna help give in to that feline shape. You guys, this is the final makeup look. I am so happy with how this turned out. Like, this looks so, so cool to me. Like, I really don't have a lot to say. It just looks cool. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, very easy to achieve in my opinion. Like, honestly, you could just blend out the shadows with your finger and that's it. Because like I said, the way I took this makeup to be was just very, like, worn in, effortless. It's fun. It's playful. But you also feel like a badass. You feel me? Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm basically Catwoman. Like, that's really what I'm trying to get at. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I could literally, no. I am not that skilled. I don't know who the makeup artist was. Please, if you do know, leave them down below because I would love to discover who created this look. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I'm just like so thrilled. Like, this is so cool to me. Anyway, that's really all. So yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. good thing i know how my base on because that would have been crazy my eyes are watering so bad <laughs> i would like to think i got the makeup down
just saying. 